Uh, hello, my name is Laszlo Niemet, and uh, I will. Uh, the previous, uh, in the previous uh, presentation, there was a, a software migration project migrating a uh, Microsoft Office add-on, and uh, uh, an add-on of, of a very old Microsoft Office version to uh, LibreOffice. And I, I uh, want to show you that it, this uh, migration resulted uh, core developments in LibreOffice, and which uh, results. The first of all, uh, the uh, custom XML for the custom migrating the custom XML. The web uh, originally we uh, have three C standard uh, RDF, but it's uh, already part of the open document uh, 1.2, and uh, in, in fact it's possible to add the uh, arbitrary number of XML uh, files in this RDF format, the RDF files to the open uh, document uh, uh, archive, and uh, after that. Uh, the, the uh, content of this uh, metadata uh, file used not only for, uh, for metadata, uh, for example, uh, annotation in the text, but it's possible to insert the content of the uh, uh, metadata uh, XML files to uh, the text of the LibreOffice. So uh, after that, uh, one of the extensions was, was to create more visibility for this uh, RDF annotation in the text. And uh, it's possible to use a custom color defined in the uh, RDF file uh, later to show uh, uh, this uh, annotated uh, uh, data fields with different colors uh, defined in the, the RDF uh, file. And uh, the other extension in LibreOffice that it's possible to check the, all the content, all the associated metadata in the, using the style inspector. This you can see, for example, there is a, in the character direct formatting uh, 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 part of the, the style inspector of writer contains a, a metadata reference uh, branch. And uh, after that, you can check the content, for example, here to um, uh, definition and XML ID, ID and uh, a longer one, this is the uh, color uh, of the uh, metadata in this example. The other uh, uh, nice improvement was the uh, better bookmark visibility, thanks to the work of Michael Stahl from Allotropia, who started to do creating an, for interoperability because it was possible in Microsoft Office to, to show the, the bookmark boundaries. But uh, for example, the, the point bookmark, uh, bookmarks without a, a range and single point was only a single vertical line. So I, I extended the, the, the visibility by uh, creating, like in Microsoft Office, an eye shape uh, form of this uh, mark uh, switched on and disabled, enabled by the field shading uh, view feature of LibreOffice Writer. But the trick, uh, trick was that it is originally the opening and uh, uh, closing brackets are uh, uh, characters from the, the open font, I don't know the, the name, of a very old font of uh, openoffice.org and LibreOffice, and there was no eye shape in it. So I made the trick that uh, uh, using the uh, closing and opening uh, brackets, but it, uh, starting with the closing brackets, it was possible to create something eye shape uh, form. I'm very proud that it's, you can notice the difference. Uh, sometimes uh, if you try to uh, create some different zones, you can, you can uh, create some little slide, but it not, I, I hope it's, uh, it's uh, invisible, the difference, that it's two characters on the screen instead of uh, one. And uh, the main reason, what is why it was important, one of the main reasons, the visibility, uh, some normal zoom, it was not possible to check uh, the notice, the point bookmark, because of the uh, body text uh, border in this um, uh, visibility mode. But now it's, it is better. And uh, you can check the difference, oh sorry, this one, it, uh, I try to make some better visibility. And this is the ending and uh, starting uh, boundary of uh, two uh, different bookmarks. 
So it's not the same than, than, the, first, the, I mean, the, than the point work mark. And more, uh, for example, now it's possible to create a, add the color to the uh, brackets. Uh, so if you uh, using RDF for a bookmark, it's possible thanks to the open document standard. You can uh, 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 define a color of the bookmark uh, in the RDF file of the document. So it's like uh, annotation of the text, not only by uh, book creators, but uh, in the science, uh, it's a very common uh, uh, the, uh, language technology or uh, data uh, processing. And the other uh, interesting thing that uh, ambiged bookmarks uh, can uh, uh, got a visualization. You can check the end of the, the test uh, uh, examples. You can see the double uh, brackets, closing brackets with different colors. So that is an interesting improvement. By the byproduct of the, this development, that in the code there was a to do some part of the code, and uh, that part of the code was uh, improve, uh, important for the previous development, and this was about accessibility. I thought that maybe it's not, uh, uh, it's, it's better to, uh, because I, I had to do, in fact, uh, I tried to create some for the screen reader softwares defining the, the, the next uh, uh, thing. And now today, thank you very much to uh, Michael Weckhorn, who uh, verified that it works. So in, in the screen reader, when the, the field shading is uh, enabled, the screen reader will uh, read loudly the uh, bookmark boundaries in this form, hash mark, uh, bookmark one, or the custom name of the bookmark, and later the localized uh, word bookmark and start or end. So thank you very much, uh, the, uh, the Michael Müller uh, Ferlag and uh, Rosemary Haberecht, Karsten uh, Seidel from Travel Guide to uh, creating a solution and creating core contributions uh, to the, uh, the LibreOffice. Not only did that uh, con core contributions, but was not so uh, visible or uh, uh, contributions that created better uh, user experience using add-ons in uh, LibreOffice. Thank you very much. Sorry, maybe I, I was very long, or it was more than five minutes. But if you want to ask something. One a sentence, using LibreOffice, ad, creating LibreOffice add-ons, sidebar add-ons, or dialog windows in Python and Py, you know, is, um, it needs a mastery. So it's a scientific research. And, and thank, I'm very grateful to Rose, who was able to handle uh, this with my help. So thank you. Thank you, Rose. That <laughs> don't giving up. <laughs> don't.